15-year-old who was accused of killing five members of his family appeared in court. Let's get into it. Before we begin, we want to warn you the details in this case are disturbing and may be upsetting for some people to hear. Now, during today's hearing, no plea was entered. Prosecutors instead made the formal request to have this case heard in adult court instead of at the juvenile justice center. Your Honor, Mr. is now uh, in the courtroom uh, in custody. In court Friday, defense attorney for the 15-year-old accused of killing five of his family members told the judge community members who know the defendant have reached out, speaking of his good character. He's been described as kind and caring, um, someone who has friends who engages in pro-social activities, uh, someone who's been a positive contributor to his community. Fox 13 is not showing the suspect's face as per the judge's order. On Monday morning, King County deputies arrived at the Humiston family home on Lake Ellis Road Southeast. Inside, they found five members of the family shot to death. 43-year-old Mark Humiston, his wife, 42-year-old Sarah, and three of their children. 13-year-old Benjamin, 9-year-old Joshua, and 7-year-old Catherine. The suspect's 11-year-old sister said he shot at her too. A bullet hit her in the hand and neck. Court documents state she held her breath, played dead, and waited for her brother to leave the room before escaping through a fire window and running to a neighbor's home for help. The first 911 call came from the Fall City home with the 15-year-old sounding out of breath. He told dispatch his brother, quote, just shot my whole family and committed suicide too, adding he made the 911 call 10 to 15 minutes after the last shots were fired. Investigators say he staged the scene in an attempt to blame his younger brother for the crime, but deputies say evidence led to the teen's arrest. Rest. We would like to request that the uh, respondent participate in a JJAT mental health assessment so that we can understand what his needs are while in detention. Back in court Friday, a mental health examination was requested, but objected to by the teen's attorney. So what happens next? There's a community meeting in Fall City scheduled for tomorrow. The details are there on your screen. The 15-year-old will remain in custody until a decision is made on whether to move this case to adult court or keep it in the juvenile court system. Kudos to that little girl who got shot in her neck and decided to play dead just to save herself and be at least the witness to everything that just occurred in her house. Kudos to her because that took a lot of heart. And being in a state of shock of being shot, you never know of how someone is going to react to it. So her reaction was just perfect. Look at this kid. The 15-year-old that did the shooting, he's still trying to cover it up as if it wasn't him. And he's trying to blame one of the family members that he killed. This kid is sick. Lock him away. My condolences to the family members who lost their life. Let me know what you guys think.